If you're a cat owner, you already know this. Cats are now the most popular pet in the United States. They have outpaced dogs as our number one pet. And for good reason. They're cuddly, they're fun, we love them. But sometimes they exhibit behaviors that upset us. And for cats, they often end up losing their homes over these behaviors. Hi, I'm Dr. Deborah Horowitz. I'm a board certified veterinary behaviorist with a behavior referral practice in St. Louis, Missouri. I would like to talk to you about some of the behavior problems that cats have that upset us as cat owners and give you some tips on how to manage those so that both you and your cat can have a happier, more satisfying relationship. Cats have different personalities. Some are very friendly and outgoing and some are very timid and shy. So a cat that runs when the doorbell rings may just be a timid, shy cat that really doesn't want to make more friends. Sometimes even a well-adjusted outgoing cat may seek privacy and hide a little bit. Choose a cat that works for you. If you're a very gregarious outgoing person that has a lot of company, then it may work best if you have an outgoing interactive cat. But don't worry, if you have a timid and quiet cat, just make sure that you offer your kitty some safe places where they can hide and watch without necessarily interacting. That could be something like an igloo bed or even a high perch on a cat pole. One of the questions I get all the time is, why does my cat bite me when I pet them? Cats who really like each other, well, groom each other. But most of that grooming takes place around the head and the neck. Some cats seem to prefer interaction around the head and neck, scratching on the ears, a light pet on the top of the head, but not enjoy stroking down the entire body. So if your cat is one of those kitties who doesn't like when you give them long strokes down their back, why don't you try just scratching them a little bit around their head and neck? The second thing you need to be aware of is the cat will usually give you a signal when they're not particularly happy. These can be subtle, just as a little flick of the tip of that tail. Other cats, their ears will go back, and some cats even might hiss at you. You may then realize that what your cat wants to do is be close to you without being touched. Often people who have one cat, or even two cats, decide they would like to adopt another cat. Sometimes that integration goes smoothly and everybody's one big happy home. But other times, things don't go so well. When you have more than one cat in your house, it's important to remember that cats don't share space equally. Each territory that the cat occupies should have all the resources they need. Food, water, resting places, and litter boxes. So if you have multiple cats in your home, you should have multiple food bowls in different locations. House soiling is a major reason that cats get sent to the shelter or return to the shelter. If your cat's not using the litter box, take your cat to the veterinarian and have them checked out. There are lots of medical reasons that a cat might not use their litter box, and we want to make sure that they're medically healthy before we start on behavior changes. There are several factors that can lead a cat to not using the litter box. Cats really like cleanliness, and every cat's different in what they consider a clean litter box. Scoop out the waste material at least once a day. It's also important that every seven to 10 days, you totally dump out that litter box, wash the litter box, dry it, and refill it with clean litter. Scratching is a normal cat behavior but one that often drives pet owners crazy. Why does the cat pick the arm of the new sofa to use as their scratching post when you have a perfectly good one in a different location? The first step to change unwanted scratching is to cover up the area where they're scratching right now that we don't want them to scratch on. The second is to put their scratching post right there. So hopefully they're gonna scratch on their scratching post and as they are using it regularly, we generally can move it to a less obvious location. Declawing is something that should be done only as a last resort. Us cat owners know that there's nothing better than cuddling with a warm, purring kitty. But sometimes our cats do things that upset us. By understanding their normal behaviors, their need for a clean litter box, and how to teach them to use the appropriate scratching surface, we can keep our cats in our home and have a long-lasting, loving relationship. For more information on cats, visit the American Veterinary Medical Association website 
at avma.org slash catsrule.